Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito 32. Another huge uh, patch note uh, update uh, to the game. Uh, you can see here uh, 1.7.0. And, um, and now, very quickly, I'm going to just cover through the main things that have been changed. And then I'm going to just show you in game uh, the, the changes and the new things. You can already see by the uh, home screen how different it is like the buttons everything is different it looks uh, uh, different so now here starting from the very top you can see added five bonus levels for stages one to five and one new super hard one for the end game stage now these bonus levels are limited to 70 or 80 waves uh, and are gonna give great rewards so uh, I'm pretty sure uh, here, if you just click on the new game, you can see them right here. So it's gonna be for stage one, one bonus, and then uh, bonus for stage two, three, four, five, and then the new end game uh, level. Now all these games, all these bonus levels are gonna be exactly the same as the other ones, uh, but the amount of quests that you have are less, so you only have five total quests. Um, and you can see here the amount of waves that you need to reach to get the three stars as well. Uh, but the new end game level is called Rumble. It's very, very different. And uh, I just want to show you here just by entering to the game. Now you can see how many, like how large this map is, first of all. And uh, there is a uh, Rumble core legendary. Um, that is that is gonna allow you pretty much to unlock all the towers uh, because you start this game with only basic and sniper tower available you can see right here so you can place only these two towers um, and uh, as you can survive and as the game progresses you're gonna gain more experience and you can start um, unlocking all the other towers you can see that the last ones that you unlock are actually cannon and blast towers um, and here there's also this upgrade that is called basic false I don't really know what that means but uh, yeah the strongest towers like missile here freezing cannon and splash you unlock them after you unlock like pretty much all the other ones and so yeah this level looks very very different from the other ones uh, and on top of that, I think here you can see in the base that you start with 100 less uh, cash. Uh, enemies, of course, can walk on platforms and uh, you can't use ball lightning ability. So uh, this ability right here, I think in this level, cannot be used. And also, uh, yeah, bounties. Bounties and power modifiers cannot be used here. And that's a huge thing because like normally bounties are the way to go to like start gaining more and more cash and to get like more upgrades and more towers but here it's disabled so definitely this level is just completely different and uh, I think it's gonna require a lot of uh, like inside thought to be able to complete the all the 100 waves um, and as well here there is something that's called like max towers experience level 100 now I don't know if that means that every tower can go up to level 100 passively uh, but uh, so this level right here see level 5 if it can go up to level um, 100 I don't know if that is what this means or if it means something different but definitely it's just a totally different level so it looks pretty pretty cool and yeah those are the new bonus levels with the new quests uh, for each stage plus the uh, end game level and now uh, there is a new town that can be used for custom maps uh, it's called boss is uh, these ones right here that you can see uh, and it's gonna allow you to configure boss waves or even disable it and it's a legendary loot so it's gonna be um, it's gonna drop not that uh, frequently uh, now here half of the quests in endless mode are gonna give bonus betas and unfortunately uh, for all the players like myself that have already completed all the quests that means that um, we are in a little bit of disadvantage uh, because uh, we're not 
gonna be able to gain any extra bitters because we have already completed all the quests. And uh, yeah, that's uh, a little sad. But definitely it's gonna help all the new players. And uh, now there's a new item, it's called Prestige Tokens, is this one right here. And there is a new research branch uh, for Prestige that is gonna increase loot rarity, uh, more green papers per game, uh, more quest slots uh, for each game, and more quest rewards. So definitely they are increasing by a lot all the things that you get by completing quests, and I think this is a very good thing. Um, and uh, now these prestige tokens can be obtained uh, for reselling quests or selling custom maps. Now these reselling quests, I still don't know what it means because here, even if I've completed all the quests, I can't. I don't have a button here to say like reset quests uh, and you know stuff like that. So I can't. There isn't anything that I can use to reset the quests. And yeah, I don't know how to do it. So, um, but definitely here it says reselling quests. So I think uh, there should be a way for people that have completed all the quests to reset them so that they can get this, this extra uh, loot, uh, green papers, and so on. So, um, now here I'm going to just show you here in the research. The, the research is different, as you can see. It's just uh, the the, uh, the position of everything is just different. Um, and here you can find down here the prestige uh, branch. And uh, now I'm gonna unlock them, and you're gonna be seeing the cost. So for the first one, you need actually one legendary blueprint, and this is something that you don't get a lot. You can see, like so far, I played a lot of the game, and I just have 14. Um, so I'm gonna research this. Wait, what? Yeah, research that. And uh, and then here to research any every uh, level, you actually need to have uh, the prestige uh, uh, tokens. So the only thing that you need to um, complete these levels is have prestige tokens. So that's quite unfortunate uh, because um, yeah, you're gonna need to play and to collect them. Um, allows to sell maps and reset quests. Oh, okay, so probably now that I have this level, now probably I can reset quests. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it seems here. This button. Reset complete the quest for prestige tokens. Oh, okay, so it's gonna apply for every. No, wait, for every level? It seems that it's gonna apply for every single for all the stages because here like the amount of quests completed uh, this is summing all the different quests for all the different levels it seems uh, and if I do the reset here I'm gonna get 220 uh, prestige tokens now well I'm gonna just look at it afterwards I don't really wanna do anything crazy right now because it seems that you're gonna reset all quests for every single level uh, and it's pretty crazy because uh, like the amount of time that you take to complete all of them it's very very long so um, yeah I'm gonna take a look at that afterwards now here continuing on with the uh, with the patch notes uh, yeah custom maps can be sold here for prestige tokens as well and uh, now here I don't know how to actually like sell it, but um, no, this is just delete. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, continuing on, uh, there is this daily loot event that has been added, and uh, when you complete uh, some quests every day, you're gonna get extra loot, and you're gonna gain more loot as you complete them. So if I just click on this, you can see here the first day, then second day, third, and so on. And the more you can keep on um, completing the days, the more stuff you're gonna get, like until the very last things are quite powerful, especially like here, all these pitas, uh, cyan chest, uh, yeah, it looks nice. And also down here it says that 
each time that you play for total amount of days in a row, you're gonna gain also legendary blueprints. So definitely this is super super nice to get even more loot. Uh, so definitely also the game is gonna award those players that like play every single day at least for a, a couple of time and uh, yeah so this is nice then uh, yeah uh, main menu is redesigned uh, yeah the research uh, is, has been changed a little bit also the design then here is music uh, uh, this is just some fixes nothing really too important and this is quite interesting so now there is a uh, added bonus loot for viewing in-game rewarding ads. Uh, now this is something that is completely different because uh, if I just play here in uh, like uh, level 1.1, right? You can see that if I pause the game, um, there is down here a lot bonus, and uh, you can see that the lot bonus is going to increase the more you watch ads. So every I don't know every how much time an ad is gonna unlock and uh, if you watch it in game you're gonna unlock 3% more loot bonus and then if you watch another one 7% then 12% and uh, so on so the more um, the longer your game is like the longer you you can survive the longer uh, the more ads you're gonna be able to watch and so the more loot you will be able to uh, to get so it seems that it works like that now here just uh, placing some towers just to to show that the time here on the on the ad goes down depending on the time on the level so it will not depend on the real time but it's time dependent on the level so the faster you go the faster you're gonna unlock these ads uh, and uh, yeah here I I don't know why I'm even playing the bounties. It's just to to show you that here the time goes down. Uh, and uh, now here very very simply just uh, waiting until I can watch the ad. Um, I'm pretty sure the loot bonus is gonna apply to like the what the enemies drop. So the amount of times that the enemies are gonna actually drop. Uh, some kind of loot Okay, just a little bit more of time Let's place here another one, why not? Uh, and there should be a sign uh, up here when the ad is ready to be watched Come on, okay, six seconds. Yeah, here we go. You can see the ad right there, the sign. And uh, if you now watch this ad, I'm gonna just uh, mute this, all right? Sometimes it's gonna be 15 seconds ad, sometimes it's gonna be 30 seconds ads, it, it depends. And uh, now here, once it uh, ends and you exit from it, you can see that now the 3% uh, bonus is uh, green. So now I have 3% more loot bonus from the enemies. And then if I can survive for other 5 minutes, then and watch another ad, I'm gonna have 7%, then 12, then 18, and then 25. So definitely this applies for, I'm gonna ju now just quit. Uh, this definitely applies for those uh, harder levels when you're gonna survive for a lot of waves. And in, definitely in that way you can increase your uh, loot total. So yeah, uh, you can see that in this patch, um, the, the bit dust, unfortunately, the bit dust required to get uh, research is the same. Uh, so the amount of bit dust required are the same, but the amount of ways how you can increase like, your loot and so you can increase the chance of getting bit dust, uh, that is the thing that ha they have upgraded in this patch. And, um, and then here, last things. Um, Oh yeah, this one now, Poros uh, are limited. So now 
you can place in custom maps only up to eight maximum portals um, and this is a huge thing because you remember my map it was like filled with portals but now I'm forced to just use eight and um, and so yeah custom maps are gonna be slightly different and uh, we're not gonna be earning as much green papers as before but something I was able to find is that even if you even if I played here on this custom map uh, with less portals the amount of green papers that I was able to get is still pretty much the same so uh, okay so this no wait a second now here I don't know what this this sign is this sign the thing that you can use to like sell your um, to sell your custom map like to get uh, the bonus uh, uh, prestige tokens I don't know anyways I was saying uh, the even if in custom maps we're gonna be able to use less poros the amount of green papers total that you can get is pretty much the same so uh, I think uh, the overall like strategy to farm uh, green papers can still pretty much uh, be the same and then uh, yeah all these last things are uh, just uh, changes or things not that important and that's pretty much it. So those are the new changes in this 1.7.0 patch. Uh, definitely a lot more of loot available. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.